Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia. We have a bunch of empties for March today. Um, so let's get to it. So this is my favorite um, dry shampoo. This is Redken. I got these giant ones in the Black Friday sale. This lasted me definitely at least three months. So I love it. Um, it does a great job with oil and makes your hair look better. Um, depending on the day and what I'm doing, this can last two days. Um, but anyway, I love this. And for me, it'll definitely be kind of a holy grail um, that I repurchase over and over again. This is another dry shampoo. And I don't even know where you buy Pearl or Essence. Maybe the drugstore. I don't think I've seen this at Walmart or Target. I can't say I looked for it. So I got this at Marshall's and, and I got it because it's an anti-frizz. And when I first started using it, it definitely did the anti-frizz, but it made my hair feel all rough and coarse. And I hate that when a dry shampoo does this. Um, so I did use most of it up and I will say towards the end, I don't think it was as good as it was in the beginning. Um, and so this is what I would use if I knew I was going to wash my hair that night. Um, it did a great job of soak soaking up the oil. It definitely tamed my frizz, but again, it left my hair just feeling coarse, not as much shine, etc. Um, so if I saw it again for $6.99, I might purchase it, but not really just because I hate when my hair is coarse. And once I use this, I definitely feel like I would have to wash my hair after because I wouldn't like my hair feeling like straw. So I liked this. I wanted to try it. It's, I think it's like $8 to $9. It's the Aveeno Oat um, Cleanser. It is perfectly wonderful, but I don't feel like it does anything extra for my skin. Um, and so I'm not going to finish it. I ended up getting, um, a Kate Somerville goat milk in my Fab Fit Fun. I also got two more Perlice. So I just don't need to use it up. Um, and so I think this is fine, but I don't think it does anything extra. Like it doesn't calm my redness. It doesn't do anything extra. Um, and the pump pumps out a lot of product. And because the pump isn't lockable, how am I going to travel with this? Um, anyway, so I definitely wouldn't repurchase it. I don't not recommend it, but I don't love, love it either. All right. I love this stuff, um, but I don't think, I mean, I won't repurchase it. This is by Byro New York. It has beautiful packaging. This had like a creamy gel-like substance. I can't hardly describe it because it was more than gel, but it wasn't a cream. It was like a cream and a gel together. I had bought another Biro eye cream. It was $114. I got it for like $12 on um, Ipsy. So if I saw this again, I don't know why I'm showing you the inside. If I got this again or I saw this on Ipsy for cheap, I would definitely buy it again. Again, love the packaging, loved having this, but I would never pay over $100 bucks for an eye cream. And I didn't look up the price. I just know one similar is like over $100. This actually may have a lot of um nose um but anyway this I got this in my ipsy it's a hey honey which I tend to like that brand it's a yogurt mask that you have to put on before the shower and then take off it smells like yogurt it looks like yogurt I did not like it I do not like masks that I have to remember to put on before I get in the shower um, you know, it's supposed to have antioxidants and, you know, some do help your dry skin. Just, it was a no for me. I had tried this. I don't even think you guys have, by the time you get this comes out, you'll see it in my Target haul. It said a blur stick brightening and the description on the little pay tag, it's just supposed to brighten your skin. This was like a balm. It did nothing for me. I absolutely do not recommend. It was not a good primer at all. So that was a waste of $10. Here is a Holy Grail that I need to repurchase. This is the Pearly's CC Cream. I love this stuff. I have it the shade Light. It perfectly works with my skin tone. I love it. 
It is, I think, uh, probably like $40 once you get done with tax, etc. Sadly, I think they also do shipping, so it would end up costing probably $50. Um, but I love it. This works great on my skin, so definitely would repurchase. This was also a fail. This was Essence. This was absolutely terrible. It flaked so bad. I didn't even, now it looked beautiful when it first went on. And then an hour later, I looked in the car mirror and I just had like black flakes everywhere. I have seen so many people rave about Essence mascara. It's only $5, but I do sort of think you get what you pay for. And it's sad that it flakes because it looked beautiful on before the flaking. I love this. I've already repurchased it. It is the Selfless by Hiram Retinol. Um, they now sell all these at Target. This, I think, is our most expensive product at about $25. Um, but I really like it and I already have another one. I got this, I think, in my Therabox. This is Mud Masky. And this was a three in one. And I feel like it would have been better being one of those three. So it was basically a clay mask, a cleanser, and then I don't know, something else, three in one. Oh, um, melting, like a makeup cleanser. I think it should have stuck to being a cleanser, a mask, or a makeup remover. It was fine, but it didn't do anything for me. It was almost too moisturizing. It didn't really clean. It wasn't a mask. I just, I did, it just didn't do it for me. I love this stuff. It's chickadee. I'd never heard of it before. It was a grapefruit serum. We got it in the um, Goldie box. I will leave this out to consider repurchasing it. I use a clear serum every morning, but I often don't repurchase them because you get so many clear serums in boxes. Um, but if the price was right, I really enjoyed it. This was a impulse buy at Walmart. It was made in New Zealand. It's only $9.99. It had a bunch of great ingredients. It stunk so bad. Um, and I, it's just the natural smell of it because there's no like fragrance. I couldn't hardly get past the smell, but it didn't really do much for me. And I don't know whether I just don't use droppers right, but I personally do not think they suck up enough product. So you end up having to dump it out in your hand. So I would not repurchase and I don't recommend it. I, it just smells terrible. All right, Keys. I have two products by Keys. I have um, a blush and then a face spray. I have had really good luck with the Keys brand. Um, I just don't use blush. And so this was a, a fine blush. I hardly used it. Um, I can't really give a good, um, I will probably put this at work by the way, so it doesn't get wasted. Oh gosh, I'm dropping lids. Um, I just don't use blush. I'm red enough as it is. Um, I really enjoyed the mist. Um, but I don't feel like mists are super essential. And as I enjoyed it, I don't think I need to pay $25 for another one. I like the Trader Joe's Rose for a lot cheaper. This also has rose. It has a beautiful purple glass bottle. I just, I love, I like it, but, and that's how I say with almost all Keys products. I really enjoy them. They're a really nice product, but I don't ever like them enough to pay full price. All right, this was a, I was trying to be cheap and buy something different and I really just need to learn, buy what I know I like and stop trying to save money. This was a uh, Rimmel London brow gel. It just did nothing. I really don't like that little applicator um, and it just didn't do anything. It was half the price of the one I wanted, which was the NYX. And actually the NYX was half the price on Amazon. So this is just a reminder to buy what you want to begin with because I just wasted money because I just couldn't use this. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to try the Benefit Fluff Out Brow Wax because I had just been seeing some videos of people saying that Benefit brow products are the best. 
and this is only three dollars and fifty cents on ipsy um i prefer my nyx brow gel this is fine i do feel like it weights down my brows i kind of have thicker brows up here and i just think it kind of drops them so this was okay but i definitely wouldn't repurchase this is a lot of i wouldn't repurchase i got this free sample i think buying something at sephora I don't know. I love Amika. This was terrible. It did nothing. Um, is it going to focus? There we go. So this is one of those sort of liquidy. It's supposed to do this miracle cure for your hair. I've tried a couple of these. This is the first one I've tried that was like a name, like an um, expensive brand, but multi mask or multitask repair treatment. It did nothing for my hair. It, it, anytime I use one of these kind of liquidy treatments, it makes my hair worse. So I don't know. Clearly not for my hair type or something. I love silicone scrubbies. I recommend everybody trying them. You can get them for probably three or four bucks at Marshall's. Um, and because they're silicone, they basically never go bad. I have extra ones I got in a box. And I can say you can definitely tell that the little scrubbies are a little bit... Um, I don't want to say loose, but um, for lack of better words, they're a little looser than the new one. So you can, you know, do a new one every six months. I wouldn't be doing a new one if I didn't have some sitting there. Um, but I love these. I think they really help to clean out and get all the gunk out of your pores and such. So I, this is more decluttering than anything. Um, I had watched a person basically that said these hard candy palettes from like Walmart they're really cheap. I, they're under $10. And I thought I could try and see if I like the colors. And they say they like them. I've seen other people just recently say that they like them. I feel like the not terribly, but they fall out. So I have a little bit of glitter under my eyes. Um, my eyes are, I think, sensitive. So if it's not good quality, it makes my eyes feel irritated. And this definitely made my eyes feel irritated. So this for me would only be if by filming, I wouldn't wear this out because for me, it kind of falls out under here. I thought I would love this. I was so excited to try it. It has a heavy glass jar, um, pink. This is herbivore. I believe this was the first thing I tried by herbivore. Pink cloud soft moisture cream. It ended up being a neck cream for me. It did nothing for my face. It also has one of these like seemingly like, the, the new fashion to almost have like this donut shaped bottle where you have to like reach in the crevices. So I was sad. I thought this was going to be for sure some awesome thing, but for my face, it did not work. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me on my empties. I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon.